How's it going everyone? In this video, I'll show you how to create a table quickly and easily in Canva. I recently had to make a simple table in Canva and was surprised to discover that there wasn't an option for this. They have charts, but not actual tables. So what I did was search for tables from the homepage and found some pre-made templates that I can show you now. So what I did was search for tables and found some pre-made ones in other templates. If you go to the home page and then search for tables, they have table of contents, they have table of contents, they have different types of tables, but the one I wanted was similar to Excel or Google Sheets. The closest one I could find to that was this one, where they have columns and rows and they have a table heading, a column heading I should say. Now if you highlight the entire thing you can copy that or customize it. Each box and element is customizable so you could do that however that takes time. The problem for me is that this didn't quite fit my requirements so I ended up having to make one from scratch. In doing so I discovered a very useful shortcut to make it 10 times easier. That shortcut is Alt and click on a PC or Option click on a Mac. I'll show you how to do that now. This is one I created from scratch. If you go to a new page, tap R to create a rectangle. I'll just resize it to make it easier. Change the color to gray. I'll make it a bit longer. Yeah. Now, if you're adding text or numbers inside the boxes, then it's easier to add it in now. It will save you so much time later on. You don't want to be fiddling around trying to line up the text within the box. So what I do is tap T for text. Put some holding text in there for now. I'll add zero. What I'll do is I'll move that to the middle of the element. It should snap in place where you see the purple lines. If it doesn't, what you can do is highlight the whole thing, text and the box, then click position and then click middle and center. And this will position the text perfectly within the box. As you can see, if I click top, it goes to the top, bottom, right, left. However, I want it in the middle and center. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is highlight the entire thing, then duplicate it several times. Once I highlight it, press and hold Alt and click and drag to the right hand side. It will duplicate it and show you grid lines so you can position it where you want and see the distance between the gaps. It snaps to 18 because 18 is where the middle line is over here. What I'm going to do is highlight both of them. Alt click and drag to the right hand side making sure the gap is the same as the first gap which is 18. Now I'm going to highlight all four boxes, press and hold Alt and click and drag down. I'm going to click and drag this down to 18 as well, if it can go to 18. Okay, it's not snapping exactly to 18, but what it is doing is snapping to 17. So what I can do is let go, then press down arrow on my arrow key this will shift the entire selection down one pixel so now i have an 18 pixel gap between the top row and the second row so now what i'll do is highlight the entire thing press and hold alt and drag it down i'll try to get it to 18 that time it snapped in perfectly press and hold alt drag it down again drag it down to 18 there you go, I've just made a four by eight column table. Now you can rename the column headers or row headers if you have titles for your rows and make customizations as you wish. I'll just rename these column headers quickly as an example. You can obviously add whatever column headers you want.
I'll also just change the color of the top column so it stands out and it's easily identifiable. Then click the color box. I can change the color of the table heading. Also, I can highlight every other line if you wanted to, to make them different. I'll highlight that row, then press shift and highlight an alternating row. Then press shift and highlight an alternating row again and make this a slightly lighter gray. Now you can have different colors. If you want all of that one line, click on that, drag it across. There you go, that's highlighted. If you want all of that connected, you can do the same. And likewise here, and now you can customize it however you want. What I'll do is I'll keep that there, and that looks pretty good. Now it's easier to input the data because I've got the text perfectly in the middle. That's why I said to add the text before duplicating it. So you can go in here and start adding the text. I made it quite small, so it's difficult to select, but you can add in and customize everything you want. You can also add a background if you want. Click on background, click on there, change the colors, um, add anything you want to the table. You can basically customize the entire thing. This. I'll make it black. So there you go. That's a simple way of making a table. Obviously, if you want to change the lengths, you can do if you just click on the end. And then if you want to make this one longer, you can. Again, you just click and you just select the element press alt click and drag down and you can make them longer or you can just make them resized like that it's better to plan things out before beforehand so you know what table you're making and then you could uh, make it perfectly to your size but there you go that's the quick and easy way to do it hopefully you found that useful also i forgot to mention if you highlight the entire table and everything selected if you click and drag the corners you can resize everything and it resizes proportionally so you can make it bigger or smaller as you want and click and drag it around the page so that's another tip there if you if you want alt plus click or option plus click on a mac is the secret source to making this table quickly i actually have two alt keys on my pc keyboard for some reason this only works on the left hand side key alt key and not the right hand side alt key i don't know if this is just a bug for me or bug in canva or my keyboard let me know in the comments if this works for you on a pc or mac or if you know a better way to make tables let me know i'm learning from you as much as you are hopefully learning from me feel free to like and subscribe if you find this useful and i'll see you in the next one